Hey guys, it's CST, and we're back doing Mass Effect. Last time we left off, we were finish finishing off some side quest, and uh, let's finish off one now with the Asari Consort. And I'm not feeling very well, I've got a sore throat, but I've taken the most disgusting medicine known to man, so hopefully I'll be alright soon enough. So let's um, let's finish this side quest. Hey, I uh, fixed the problem. I got you that cream you I wanted. I received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I'm that good. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help. Oh, me too kind. Shall, shall I be bitch? Shall I be evil then? I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. <laughs> oh, okay. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, oh. an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I know who I am, I'm Commander Shepard. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you everyone are, else will but die. it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. If that's all... You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. It's not a words. gift. It's not a gift Good at Commander. all. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Thank what you. Is it? That's a not thank you, is it? I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything. Get the me. fuck out! Oh, what a bitch! Remember my words, Commander. So what? What kind of a gift is that? Give it a vague sentence of what could, anything. It could mean anything, and it has no actual value. It has no practical use. It's just like, oh yeah, you remember that time you survived that massive war? Yeah! Yeah, you remember that, don't you? Makes you strong, doesn't it? Yeah, fucking whatever. It's not a gift at all. Fuck off. Uh, okay, so the trinket she gives us will uh, not act, it's not part of a side quest, it's like an easter egg um, on a planet if you explore. I don't remember what planet it's on, and I can't remember what it's about. In fact, I do actually remember what it's about, but I don't remember what the point of it is, if you know what I mean. It, it's kind of weird in that way. Alright, so. Let's do this, then. What do I want? I can't get my charm up. I'll just get my shields up. I should get my electronics up as well, but fuck it. Uh, basic armor. Uh, what else should I give you? First aid? You can be the first aider. Mm. Sure, let's do it. Alright then. Let's have a look at the side quests. I, feel, I don't think we've got anything else left to do. We can hand that in, but we'll be going there later, and we can do that later once I've got a charm up. Yeah. Alright, I, I know I know what the plan is. I, we're going to go to the meeting first to uh, be like, Saren, you're a bastard! And the council will be like, yes, I agree. <sighs> right, at least I hope, you know. Okay, so, I've got a sore throat and I've been taking this Lensip, like, sachet thing. It's like you pour into hot water, stir, and it's like, it's like a fruit drink that makes you feel better. The only problem is it tastes like, ugh, it tastes like sadness. That's, that's the best way I can explain it. Do you know, have you ever taken, like, a tablet that you accidentally bit into it and then there's all that, there's all that taste and it's like, eh, oh, eh, ugh. It's that. It's basically that. It makes me shiver when I drink it. It's that bad. I'll be back once I'm more charming. What do you think? Would you think a mustache will make me more charming, Ashley? Oh, you won't know. <sighs> Alright, let's go. I kind of messed up the companions with my evil playthrough. I know who I'm going to... I'm going to change them on my evil playthrough, but... Because you, you get an achievement for playing... Um, if you keep two people with you the entire game, you get an achievement. Well, for the most of the game, you get an achievement. So... I do actually kind of want to get the achievements I didn't have, because normally I go through with either Ashley or Garrus. Ashley, Garrus, or Tally are the people I normally go through. Oh, and the Asari as well. But, uh... Oh, actually, I think... Uh, there's lots of things worth going over. 
an outfit for one. Your guns. Ah, uh, you got any credits on you? People will kill you for them. Uh, let's go to the meeting and this crappy elevator music. That was done. Here we go. Okay. Okay, let's go on. I got Titanfall. Um, to be honest, I think it's been a lot of video games nowadays have just been overhyped as hell. And I think the only reason people like really look forward to Titanfall is because it's it's Call of Duty so doing something different. I mean, it's not. It's not Call of Duty. I know it's not Call of Duty, but I'm saying it's something new. It is different from the normal formula, which we've been spoon-fed for the last past like ten years. Ten years is a bit ridiculous. Maybe six. Six years. Um, okay, so Titanfall's good. The campaign absolutely sucks balls, but you have to do it to get a Titan. There's only three Titans. It's called Titanfall, and you get three fucking Titans. I find that kind of ridiculous, but let's get on with the game. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. I kind of get. Udin's prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. <laughs> I like my points. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be we can't copy his, his voice, status, but you can. And all efforts will be made to bring that him in sense. to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Oh, that's useful. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she has many followers. Sort of milfs. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Oh, cool. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. That's the we same as the other option. is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? No. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's the same as a bad enough. option. Listen it is really starting to piss me off now. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Does anyone else know Saren looks a bit why did they mechanical? Vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? No trace of their existence. It's in the guest's memory core. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you were. That's the same as the bad option. It's really pissing me off now. This is Why give you the option you if it's the same the result? We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover about Geth's memory call. A legend you know. he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I think that. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a spectre. He doesn't need the rights. The if he's on position. the run, he'll get what that he wants. Not guns. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. How bad is that fleet then? A citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation. It trigger a war if you're in your own territory. Armies. Although I guess it would be suspicious if, like, a massive army is just standing on the border. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its That's the same as a bad option again. I, I know I keep pointing all these there out, but they are really starting to piss me off. They are not starting. They have pissed no. me off. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I thought this was democracy. Oh, it's a council in it. Isn't that council some else? Councils are a... Fuck, I'm not good at this stuff. But, what kind of a council is this? You just like fucking... I think we should... No! No, of course not. And everyone's like, I'm not going to say anything because I'm scared. The Torian's scary. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human spec. See, that's different. Everybody's happy. That's good. I agree. Yeah. 
Commander Shepard. What was that button is all out? <sighs> okay, what's going on? What do you want? These guys just been eavesdropping on the entire conversation. I want more people to applaud me becoming a spectre. How many is this? Ten people? I want an entire it's fucking stadium to be like, yeah! All the powers and privileges of the special decision of the council, and by decision of the council, I mean me. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. They're not trained, so they don't know what to do anything. Fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination. Why is she looking? They are She's right not looking at both everyone. Instruments of our She's not looking at me. Spectres bear a great burden. They're just putting their head up and preaching bullcrap. Both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the How can it be first and last if you die in goal. the first line of defense? You are the first human Your dead body will be used as a sandbag for the last line of defense. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. You're coming with me, dead or alive. Best not say any leads. Oh, that, will, that doesn't give the this good impression, the does it? Is adjourned. Congratulations, you're promoted to the highest rank we could possibly give you. Okay, where do I start? Congratulations. Congratulations, Commander. You've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the C section cabin and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to okay, set all this up. Okay, we can get good shit. Bye. <laughs> I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. No, I think he's more worried about me getting this shit. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Oh, I haven't done anything besides coming expect to which everyone fucking wants. It's good for humanity, so it's good for the ambassador. Right then. Beep beep. I noticed it didn't pop up saying you've unlocked all that stuff, which it did on my evil playthrough, but whatever. Uh, I want... Did I get lift? Where's my lift? There we go. That'd be good for a sniper, but I do want to keep my charm at that level. Come my armor, auto training, basic armor, and... Which should I get you? Let's get you that. Uh, Alright then. So there's a few, few new side quests have just opened up. There's two in here. Let's go let's go obtain them. Hello, Rear Admiral Kahoku. I guess oh, Rear Admiral. That's, 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 uh, Congratulations on becoming the first time Commander. Rear Admiral. I'm certain Admiral. you'll be up to the challenge. Thank you. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral. Aha, you are a Spectre. Well, I was just a test. I didn't know. I was with fucking messing with you. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Okay, what is problems? something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting That's very right nosy, right Commander Shepard. Piss off. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Okay. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly, it's a restricted area. Maybe they that found something. You, Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. You could even go to the women's bathroom. Oh, cool. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Okay, good for you. I don't have a ship yet. It just uploads it to like a little cardboard box with wings on it. This is my ship. And Gareth. That's a that's a weird name. Gareth is far better. I'm on a break. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, I'm nosy, so I'm going to find maybe out what. Help. Mm, well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? More than a lot. The Traverse is a rough place. Out there, out there. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. It just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, 
or they were attacked. Or maybe they went pirates. <laughs> that was a bad. Either one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Uh, what about the authorities? Nah, fuck it. Let's just do it. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Okay. I'll do that. It's fast travel. I hate elevators now. Elevators are... I've got a new phobia. Is there a phobia of elevators? It wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. I think there's a phobia of them crashing. I don't know if they're elevators themselves. I imagine people being scared of a stationary elevator. Right, let's go to Lord's Access because uh, I think I've got it. But basically, uh, we found a machine in flux, which was funneling credits from a machine, and uh, you've got to try and bounce the signal back. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's uh, fucking reading the sign. So yeah, we've got to try and find the signal. And the signal is being bounced to the ward's access, which is down here. I, don't, I still don't understand the point of this room. Just for this side quest, it's... it's if you're walking everywhere, it takes a lot of time out of still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. So probably so something bad happened. It does all mean always annoys, annoy me when people say like, "Oh, yeah, I refuse to comment," because that basically means something bad happened. You're not protecting anyone. You might as well say, "Oh, well, fucking, well, the satellite went down that we were using to communicate with." Better to say no comment, no comment at all. The journal's gonna up. That's probably uh, added that news report. <laughs> added the news report to my quest log. Alright, so. Investigate. Okay, so let's go back up to the Presidium and then the next um, little spot where the signal is being bounced off is behind. Doran, uh, the financial advisor. So we're going to head back to him. A Solarian him. excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a yeah, Pontian dig site. Yes, heard this one before. Panar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. <laughs> that would be weird. Hmm, the Hanar must realise that this, this technology is important. I mean, it's got the mass relays, the Citadel, that's all. In it's not in Kindler, is it? In Kindler technology. The, the Citadel itself is a in Kindler artifact, so I don't know why I like it. Nope, not this time. Right, CSEC, am I charming enough to charm you that away from Hanar this? Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Be more open minded, be more dude. Tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Um. Uh. Let me talk if to you'd it. like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You okay, let's try and figure this out. desire to learn of the Inkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Inkindlers? The truth of the Inkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. This is unworthy of you, that sounds weird. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. They wouldn't want this, trust me, I know. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the procedure. Oh, I still again. feel bad for him. 
I guess it is the right... It's not really the right thing to do, I guess. Uh, I don't care, really, if people preach in public. Left. Thank you. Okay, do I get paid Happy for this? Help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Yay! Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Okay, Omnigel plus 10. That's, that's not bad. I still, I still question if that was a good thing or a bad thing to do. But whatever. Green, having to, what's the difference between having the permit or not? It's just another way to get money out of everyday people, I guess. But whatever. 